All right, now how many people here would say, if you're in sales, if you just say at a cocktail party, I'm in sales for a living, that some people might get the bad connotation feel about that word? How many people would agree with that? All right, that's why I wrote the book. Because every time I say I'm in sales, I'm like, oh, you're that guy. That's that guy right there. Andy, I call him that guy. Power handshake, heavy cologne, all the tricks, gimmicks. You know, I got a guy that used to come into my office. True story. He's learned body mirroring, okay? You know where that is where you kind of sit there? This guy's a vendor of mine, and I'm being recorded, so I'm going to talk in code. Was a vendor of mine. I'm, a, I, I'm consulting now. But he's a good friend of mine. He would sit in the hallway talking to me, and I, I had a little game of it. I'd have everybody kind of watching, and I would sit there and say, so, how are you doing? So then he, he would do this, and then I would do this, and he'd be like, and he would do this, and I'd be like this, and then he, I'd be like, and so I'd suddenly have, you know, we, we'd be, <laughs> be kind of moving around doing this, and everyone's dying laughing, and I'm going, that's a gimmick, that's a trick, that's a shortcut, and that stuff is not what, what human communications are about. Does it work? Do people like to hear things like that? Yes. Do people like to hear their name repeated? Yes. Dr. Leininger and I worked on a webinar series last year, and I did the marketing component. And, you know, there's seven touches of sales and marketing. Is everybody familiar with that, seven touches? If you, are, if you aren't, and you're calling on a prospect, seven touches is what's really required scientifically to, to make an impact. In other words, if you haven't, that does not mean, let me put it on the pause board, make seven phone calls and leave seven voicemails. I've had salespeople say, well, we did seven. Well, obviously the phone calls aren't working. What it does mean is in person, email, uh, hard direct mail, follow up note, uh, networking event, trade show, however you touch a human being, when, especially when you're prospecting, if you don't get to seven, you've not done your job. If you go way beyond seven, you start hitting diminishing returns. It's also true people like to hear their name. So these are not what we're going to talk about today. So we don't need to say, when a guy calls me and says, Ryan, we're here today, Ryan, to tell you that we have a lot of, lot of stuff that could help you, Ryan. And Ryan, we, first of all, they don't say Ryan, they say Ron, and I'm like, my name's Ryan. And they're like, I'm so sorry, Mr., uh, you say Randy? And I'm like, so maybe they need to read the book too. Anyway, so that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to stick on stuff that's uh, really, really important. Now, you know what's important too? I was speaking in Hershey, Pennsylvania, excuse me, not Hershey, I was over in Harrisburg, I can't get enough of Pennsylvania, I'm from Atlanta, just got back home Friday night, social media conference, you've been hearing a lot about social media here, right, mobile media, so you talk about, you want to hear about what's going on in that, you talk, some of the world, the lady who started the social media marketing club of the North America sat next to me, and she's from San Francisco, and you know what, nobody has all the answers for this stuff, so you know what I did when I got up to speak, it was funny, in a social media conference, this is what's in the bag. What do I see? Print. And they were all struck. Everybody was silent as tweets were going off. So print's not, so I said, print's not dead. Print's changed. And I wanted you to see that. This was the handout in a social media conference. That's why they came. I expected a big QR code and say, download it. That's what I got. So I just thought you'd enjoy that. Makes you feel good. All right. So when we're thinking about that word sales, why do we think it has a negative feel? I mean, what is it uh, to you that you've had a bad experience with salespeople about? Say that again. Cars. Yeah. I mean, it's the guy that's not listening it's the person, I say guy, I'm just using that. The person not listening, trying to push you into something, and you can tell they're, they're driven to make a sale. So we're reframing the word sales to be communications. If I say I'm in the communications business at a cocktail party, that's probably received better. Would you agree? And they're get, you, know, you might say, what does that mean? But they're not going to go, ugh, you know, that, that kind of thing. If you're selling, you're communicating. When I'm talking to my kid's principal, I'm selling the fact that I think my daughter should be in an accelerated class. Or I think that the teacher may be just teaching from the textbook and not teaching the way maybe I think it should be. I'm trying to sell my case. That's the whole premise that we're talking about here. Now, everything I'm saying here, you might be going, these are personal examples. I want you to be thinking through them through your lens and your company. 
but everything you're doing, whether you're working with a banker, whether you're working with the IRS, whether you're working with um, uh, you know, a vendor, you're selling your situation.